Hello and welcome to Dreams of Wings. And I am so happy to be able to say this. Welcome to Old Warden Aerodrome. And this is the latest release from Burning Blue Design. It's been hotly anticipated, certainly know from the Dreams of Wings Discord link down below, that uh, a lot of people have been looking forward to this. Let's face it, we've all been looking forward to this. Anyone who watches this channel has probably been looking forward to it because we're all into warbirds, vintage aviation, uh, light aircraft, that sort of thing. And Old Warden is uh, absolutely iconic in that arena. I have to say to my absolute shame, I've never been here in real life. Um, I need to change that, obviously. But Burning Blue Design, as we know, are experts. And I say this in pretty much every video that I do about their scenery. They are experts at bringing to life these iconic places. It doesn't matter how small they are. They just pack in so much detail and life. And uh, it, they just bring them, bring them to our sims in a way that no one else seems to be able to do it. And this is stunning. This is absolutely stunning. There's so much in it, actually. I wondered just how I was going to go about putting a video together. And in the end, I just thought... I'm going to show you as much as I can, and then it's up to you to have the pleasure of exploring yourself and enjoying it. And I know that there are some people who uh, question whether we need so much detail in airfields, um, but I suspect they're probably the kind of people that don't do the kind of flying that people like me um, do, in that you want something that feels realistic. When I fly into Old Warden in my Spitfire or my um, Tiger Moth, I want it to feel like the real thing. I want it to have that uh, that whole atmosphere about it, that vintage aviation atmosphere about it. I'd love to know, if you know Old Warden, and I know a lot of you will, I would love to know what you think, especially if you've flown in and out of here. Perhaps if you fly out of here on a regular basis, I would love to know what you think. Uh, to me... Having never been here, it just looks stunning. And I feel now that if someone just dropped me in the middle of Old Warden, I'd know exactly where I was. I'd know exactly where I needed to go. And, um, yeah, if anyone left a spare spit lying around, there'd be trouble. So what have we actually got here? So Old Warden Aerodrome, uh, of course, came into being around about 1932. It was a private aerodrome for the Shuttleworth family. And then during World War II, it... Uh, really became an RAF base, provide, provided training for RAF pilots. And then post-war, it transitioned as a hub for vintage aviation enthusiasts and really has become synonymous with the Shuttleworth collection. Everybody's heard of that. I don't need to tell you all about that. There is an uh, amazing museum based here. It's worth pointing out, by the way, that the, the hangar doors to the museum uh, don't open. Burning Blue Design pointed out the fact that if they opened the doors, uh, they would have to model the entire museum. And that's not what it's about. It's about you flying here in the sim. And then if you want to go and visit the museum, go to the museum, see it in the flesh. Why not? But it's an iconic museum. And, uh, you know, you, you will, I'd be amazed if you haven't heard about it. I'm not going to start telling you about it. You know what I'm talking about. Also, Old Warden uh, plays host to various uh, events, displays, air shows. Um, there's a chance to see some really amazing historic aircraft here. Uh, there's a, there's even a Blario here. It doesn't fly very often, um, but the uh, Blario 11 is here. And actually, it's the oldest, uh, world's oldest airworthy aircraft. Um and also, there's a lot of education and workshops going on here as well. It's all about preservation, um, not just about aviation history, but also uh, passing on that kind of critical engineering knowledge to future generations. It's so important that people know how to uh, look after these beautiful aircraft in the future. So what is included in this package? And as always, I'm going to read straight from their information. I am not going to make it up or wing it. Uh, so, all, Old Warden has been faithfully recreated by Burning Blue Design, undertaking on-site visits. That's really crucial, uh, ensuring the highest levels of accuracy. And it features 
over 240 custom 3D objects, each with full physical based rendering, that's PBR textures, based on up-to-date layouts with accurate runways and taxiways, highly detailed cafe and tower interiors, dynamic animated spectators, animated hangar doors with interior parking, that's parking spot 20 when you get to it, fully modelled Shuttleworth estate, including Shuttleworth House, Shuttleworth College, Swiss Garden and Home Farm, completely custom animated flags, windsocks and working signal square, real life static aircraft from the Shuttleworth collection, they are the Blériot 11, the world's oldest airworthy aircraft as I said, Avro 504K, de Havilland Comet, which is that wonderful red aeroplane, uh, you'll, you'll know it when you see it, it's absolutely beautiful, that's Golf Alpha Charlie Sierra Sierra, Supreme Spitfire AR501, Hawker Sea Hurricane Mark 1B, uh, Zulu 7015, De Havilland Tiger Moth 2, Kilo 2585, Sop with Camel, D1851, I'm mixing up my phonetics with my normal letters, De Havilland Chipmunk T10, Whiskey Papa 903. It also has full night lighting and dynamic weather compatibility and enhanced high resolution color corrected ground textures. Something to quickly go back to say uh, about the lights in the cafe. The lights in the cafe are on during the day and they go off at night as they would do. When someone's gone home, they close everything down and, uh, and that's what happens. It's, it's just stunning. It's a stunning piece of work that they've done here. I think the the mark of a really good airfield in the sim is one that you feel you could actually make as a home base and fly from regularly. And, you know, this is definitely one of those. Um, it has such a great feel to it. And what with the the hangarage and, uh, and this kind of thing. I mean, static aeroplane in the sim, but the uh, detail and the look of it, uh, look at that propeller is just absolutely gorgeous a couple of other things that they've done which are really clever uh the crowd density um or the the crowd is based on time of day so once the uh once the airfield is packed up for the night you won't see the crowds hanging around and also even the clock on uh, shuttleworth house is showing the time in the sim so again it's that uh these little details but this is kind of the hallmark of burning blue design i think you know a lot of you now of course will have airfields by burning blue design and you know the kind of thing i'm talking about but it's these little details that uh, that are fantastic and the other piece of good news of course uh once we actually have it is that in sim up uh, uh in sim update 15 they're going to be fixing the issues that we've been seeing with the uh, ground textures not showing properly and you know you see the photo scenery underneath rather than the ground texture that the developers actually put in that's all going to be fixed um, if you don't know the way around that at the moment is just to limit the number of airfields that you've got in your community folder to roughly under 13 I think it is um, so you know you just swap them out but once uh, SU15 comes in that is all going to be fixed so a huge thank you to Burning Blue Design for uh, giving me the opportunity to fly their old warden and also to be able to show you ahead of release, which is imminent. So keep an eye on their website and their Discord because trust me, it's not far away at all. So what we're going to do now is, as traditional in these videos, we're going to take a quick flight out of old warden uh, and have a look and see how it looks from the air. I was going to take the Spitfire and then I thought, actually, no, do you know what? The Tiger Moth, and this is Ant's aeroplanes, Tiger Moth, of course. The Tiger Moth is probably more fitting. So uh, enough of my waffling. Let's jump in the aeroplane and let's go take a look. Okay, let's see how much I can embarrass myself in a Tiger Moth. Uh, to say I'm rusty in a Tiger Moth is to... Uh, Gross understatement. Zero the alt to aerodrome height. Come on. There we go. That'll do. Right, let's get cracking. For a bit of power. 
So yeah, I uh, criminally do not fly the Tiger Moth very much, and I should do really. At the end of the day, uh, it was used to uh, train pilots in the initial stages, and uh, it's a proper good old stick and rudder bird. And uh, sometimes I think to myself, that's what I need more of. A bit of stick and rudder proper training just to go back to basics and learn how to do things as they should be. Let's not go too fast. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, we'll do a we'll do a quick flight around, have a look and see how old warden looks from the air. And then we'll uh, we'll land, so it won't take too long. But I think it's always good to see these places from the air. Get a feel for it, because that's really what we're going to be doing. Flying in and out. Maybe flying circuits. Circuits here, you've got to make sure you keep over to the east. I.e. not flying over the uh, college and the house and that sort of thing. We might break a few rules on this flight, because after all, we, uh, well to see the scenery, we want to see the old warden scenery and to do that we may have to bend a few rules. But don't worry, that's after all is what we're here for. Tiger Moth really is a beautiful aeroplane, isn't it? Definitely one of those, if it looks right, it flies right kind of aeroplanes. Uh, at this point, I now demonstrate how not to fly a Tiger Moth. Anyway, uh, let's get going and see how this goes. So, on with the juice. Gently with the power. Something I've noticed a lot recently in flight sim, and you can kind of see it there, and it's nothing to do with burning blue, um, is that uh, sometimes the those 3D grass tiles disappear. I uh, I've had people mention sometimes that they think it might be down to the Orbex uh, GB mesh. I must admit, I need to try that, see if it fixes it. Okay, we broke me anybody? Well, let's just watch what we're doing with the uh, watch what we're doing with the old uh, RPMs there. So we've straight away we've broken the rule and we've come over here to the uh, to the west. But we've got to have a look at the old house from a biplane. That's what it's all about. So detailed, isn't it? It really is everything that everyone hoped it would be, I think. So many people have been waiting for Old Warden to appear. And uh, Burning Blue have definitely not disappointed with this.
loving this time of year in the sim as well with the Akisis and trees now coming out in green you uh, certainly get the feeling that spring has sprung the animals will be very naughty but we'll have another look at the house. Very nicely done. Right, well, I think it's time we uh, we landed, don't you? After all, what could possibly go wrong? Rusty Tiger Moth pilot. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Once this releases, which as I say is imminent, if you're watching this uh, straight away, if you're watching this a little bit later, it will have been released, but uh, once this does release, I just know it's going to be full of people flying. It's going to be very popular, and I look forward to seeing you here. Right, let's try not praying, hey? Well, for a start, we're coming in way too fast. Ridiculously fast. In fact, so fast that it would be criminal to uh, attempt a landing, so we're going to do that again. fun. <laughs> right, let's try and be a little bit more sensible this time, please. Says the flying instructor, what well, is not in the cockpit, but it's certainly in my head. Remember, this is not a Spitfire. Circuit height here is 800 feet, so we uh, we are quite low. But at least we're a little bit legal now. And we're on the right side, so let's come round. Drop the power a bit. in the runway there with floaty float
There's one of those uh, mysterious patches. And another one of missing grass. So anyway, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. What a lovely place to come and fly. Anyway, I hope you uh, hope you found that interesting. Go to uh, Burning Blue's website. I'll put a link down below, and you can uh, have a look at the uh, airfield in more detail. And as I say, I look forward to seeing some of you flying here. It's going to be great fun. It's certainly going to be alive. Why wouldn't you want to fly in such a wonderfully rendered, iconic aerodrome as this? Anyway, take care now. Thanks for coming on board, and I'll see you on the channel again soon.